Oh, Graham, that reminds me. Um, you should let me give you some fun facts for the uh, for Nightbot. Very not fun fun facts. Mm -hmm. That would be great. I also still need to figure out how to actually like code it so I can have more than like five, more than five fun facts at a time. How how cursed do you want me to be with these? Uh, as long as they don't violate the stream rules, I'm pretty okay. I like it. I'm okay. You just type in fun fact and Nightbot starts shouting slurs at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going that route. I'm thinking more fun fact. The picture that they're going to use at your funeral might have already been taken. <laughs> Yes, that is exactly the right level of ominous. Thank you. No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm not. In, I'm not in charge of the stream, so don't actually listen to my opinion. But like, <laughs> hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Cape Quest. It's time for us to once again dive back into the haunted mansion north of Draenor. While we won't be tackling anything quite as frightening as an ancient vampire who was surprisingly weak in retrospect, we'll be dealing with something almost as bad. For this house is full of chickens. Or one chicken that we probably need to go rescue, but more on that later. Basically just on the same level of, like, hunting unicorns in Michigan. Mm. I think it's, what did I just learn on No Such Thing as a Fish today? Something along the lines of, um, it's... It's illegal to cross into... Maine? Or it might have been Iowa with a duck on your head? Interesting. And it is a law that mm -hmm. someone made because they misunderstood what was being talked about. Oh no. <laughs> oh, hello Found Freaky Forrester. Clue. There's no possible way to fit this into a fun fact, but I learned quite possibly the greatest story in terms of legal precedent in the history of law. What's that? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, in medieval France, I think this was like in the 1500s, um, there was a um, an incident where a pig attacked a child and bit off part of a child's face, and instead of just like, you know, culling the pig or like, you know, attempting to you know, like uh, like, instead of just, you know, like, killing the pig and eating it so it didn't hurt anything else, they dressed the pig up in human clothing and tried it for assault and attempted murder. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's very strange. Yeah. They also, also, Kat said apparently tackling pigeons is illegal in Australia. They're never gonna stop me. <laughs> No bulletproof vest while committing murder. If you're planning to commit a serious crime in New Jersey, you need a bulletproof vest at home. To live their life. According to state law, it's a third degree crime to wear a body vest while engaged in the commission of or an attempt to commit or flight after committing or attempting to commit murder, manslaughter, robbery, <laughs> <laughs> burglar, kidnapping, criminal escape, or assault. And if it's anybody asks. Paper. I was going to say, if anyone asks why I just wear a suit and payday, there's your answer. Okay, if you have if you have not fed or pet your kittens recently, now is a good time to do so. Oh. As in, it's been 18 minutes since I set up the reminder. Okay, how long has it been since we... Alright, I'm going to give it 15 minutes. I'm going to give it 15 minutes, and then I'm going to feed my cat again. It's a casket. I'm actually just going to do it now to get on the same timer as Nightbot. That's fair. Wow, that was a... Here, cat. I know um, you just ate, but, like, have some have some anchovies and let's reset those timers. Oh, hey, here's one. Um, these have teeth. Why, though? Yeah, my question, my question exactly. You should, uh, you should do a Google image search if you never want to sleep again. I, I need to sleep though. <laughs> I swear, if this is some kind of, oh yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. 
I'm going to say, this, this is some urban dictionary prank. I will <laughs> find you and I will kill you. <laughs> but no, oh. it's, I actually almost wish it were. How many raw shrimps should I take out? Uh, you'll need, what, about one every 20 minutes or so? So, so like nine. Nine, yeah. Do I need to keep the kitten out for the entire, like, until yep. it's old? Or... Yeah, yep. okay. uh, the timer only runs while the kitten is out. I meant, like, if I stop and then start again, will it save its progress, or will it revert I'm... back to a baby? I'm pretty sure it does. Like, I can't I'm, see that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can't see that being a timer that resets. Uh, fair, fair. I would have a lot of questions if that was the case. Okay, so I gotta... I'm gonna recommend this tree over here. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you see that little uh, shrub right next to you? Yes. That is what you can save spot it on. Got it. All you need to do is just get it on the opposite side, and it'll stop moving. I didn't bring an axe. Uh, how did I forget an axe? It's kind of hard to chop trees. I, I guess, I guess in theory you can chop it using a cake, but like that'd be really tough. <laughs> Speaking of which, did either of you see that they are releasing a RuneScape cookbook? I can't wait I for not. all of the recipes where they kind of give you vague cooking times to replicate the chance to burn it. <laughs> uh, one of like one of the things that they're using prominently in their uh, their marketing is the um, the cake. Mm -hmm. It actually looks really tasty. <laughs> I haven't made a good like layer cake in a while. I need to. That's just expensive. Mm -hmm. I need to look this up. And I think it, yeah, I think it has recipes for like all the potatoes and stuff like that. I'd try a tuna potato. That'd taste good. Honestly, most of the food in the game seems like it would taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. As if there's no great. there's gnome cooking in there, I'm all over it. Okay, wait, hold on. I have a problem with it. Oh. Uh, let me copy paste the image. Um, take a look at this image and let me know if you can tell what's wrong with one of these recipes. I'm just looking at the gnome cookies. Oh wait, those are adorable. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. Well, I'm not sure what they did to the potato because that looks seriously mangled, but I don't know if that's it. That's fair. All, all valid criticisms, but not what I was looking at. What are you looking at? Um, why do the shrimp tacos still have the tails on? Oh, no. <laughs> Rip. I, That's I not hear, okay. I hear tell uh, of people who just eat the tails of shrimp. I don't know how they do that. I am not those people. They are... The only time I've done that, um, the way that they prepare um, shrimp sushi makes the tail, like, not crunchy and awful and eat it okay. Mm -hmm. um, it, like, if we're just talking grilled shrimp, then it's awful. Yes. Yeah. I'll have to uh, go back later after I've properly replenished my rune supply. And see if I can get a rune axe. Or knowing my luck, I'll somehow roll so poorly that the game will just uninstall itself from my computer. <laughs> uh, sure. The Monster mm. Hunter World treatment. Yes. <laughs> I forgot that happened to you. After about an hour of prep work, we speak to Veronica outside Draenor Manor. Her fiancé, Ernest, went in uh, quite a while ago and hasn't come back yet, and she wants us to go in and check on him. Well, there's no vampire here anymore, but there are a lot of skeletons and other things, so we probably should go make sure the guy's okay. Oh, we're gonna want to take this one... like, together. Oh, yeah, because of the... Because of that puzzle later. The lever puzzle, yeah. Wait, what's going on? Uh, so there's an un... Uh, there is a... Like, the basement is not... Um instanced and there's a puzzle in there 
that has exactly one solution and we're going to want to go through like all together so that no one gets left behind on that that puzzle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will continue on the quest and I'll just hold up to make sure we're all there for the basement cuz uh, as you can see this quest was um not designed if, with multiple people in mind. No. Uh will work will world hopping. World Maybe hopping yes. would also work, yeah. I just want to make sure I don't uh, lose my cat. Well, you have five minutes till it needs to be... Um... I'm num num. Sorry, Graham. Where did mine go? Oh, there it is. Just, just make the jump, Bob. You can do it. <laughs> oh, I did do a bad... A bad thing last week. Hmm. Oh, I, I caved and bought Satisfactory because it was on sale. Oh, nice. I actually own that, too. I haven't I gotten a chance you. to play it yet. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot more fun with multiple people, uh, which is not to say I have not been having fun with it. It's just, it's okay. It's a factory sim. I I really don't like the combat. I'm not sure why they decided to include it. Yeah, it's getting cold here tonight. Oh, I need yeah, to be Yeah, it does out feel kind of cold, doesn't it? Ugh. It's getting down into the uh, upper 20s tonight. Ah, perfect. All that um, swing music and prohibition and stuff. <laughs> Do I really have to go all Prohibition and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> it's a little too late <laughs> in the day for me to be remembering the order things happened in. <laughs> uh, that cat sure loves to be stroked every time I it doesn't there's no kind of innuendo I can even make that's remotely close to it I just still wish they could have phrased it differently somehow <laughs> I know because what does my head say every time I see that of I bet it does <laughs> And then I just give an empty, lifeless stare out the window for a couple seconds. <laughs> just that mental image while, uh, you know those, uh, you know those YouTube videos of Caramel dancing playing from the next room? Yes, <laughs> I love those. Oh, All are, right. the, uh, are the doors I'm instanced? Me, Alex. I guess uh, they are. I guess they might be, yeah. I don't know, okay. Alex. Is this door open for you? The one I just went through? Nope. It is not. Cool. They're instanced. Cool. Uh, so. we can... Perfect. We can't step on each other's toes. Yeah, I'm going to do the puzzle then. Yeah, I've actually, like, solved this puzzle without a guide before. It's it's a bit annoying. All I'm going to say, Graham? Morning's in part two. Oh, boy. We'll get there eventually. Not if I have anything to say. <laughs> Force me to prematurely end the series. Why? <laughs> Just because nobody wants to do Morning's End Part 2. I have the perfect <laughs> way. I'll just get your channel banned. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Just like Christy threatened to get me demonetized. Or get me monetized so she could then get me demonetized that one time. All right, I remember why we need this. We're trying to fix uh we were supposed to go upstairs and talk to a mad scientist earlier in this quest, but um you don't actually need I was, to do that. I was wondering why we were doing all of this. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a boyfriend has been turned into a chicken and we're trying to fix the machine that can turn him back. Isn't it isn't it that right, Graham? Yep. Like we are yep. doing Ernest the chicken and I have not seen the chicken once this entire time. Don't worry, you will. And then we get to do animal magnetism, and Alex, you'll get a cape that you're going to use basically forever. Yeah. Yeah, outside of the convenient teleport, which can just happen out of your way, you just... It's I was just a just in slot. Nice. I can always just carry around the Arduin cloak with me. Exactly. Yep. And I believe there's a... Another version of it that is like actual best in slot ranged gear right now. There is. It's uh, Ernest the or Animal Magnetism gives you the first one. Uh, 
What gives you the... So there's the base, there's the upgrade, and then there is like a level 70 upgrade. That is. Oh, right. Uh, you get the attractor if your ranged level is less than 50. Right, and then you can just upgrade it. Yeah, and then once it's 50, you can get the accumulator. With Ernest Rescued, that is a blink and you miss it. Quest complete. On to the next one. Because it turns out that this mansion has more than one mad scientist. Oh, fine. I'll put my ghost speak amulet on and try again. Not so fun, blah, blah. I do love how it's just absolute gibberish whenever you don't have it on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, the different speak amulets are just such a cool idea. Hmm. We're actually not oh, well. that far from the quest that gets us the cat speak amulet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, later we will get our hands on a camulet and a monkey speak amulet. The second Connor puts his on. You monster, you never feed me. <laughs> I'm calling KPS. <laughs> well, the nice uh, thing is that uh, once our kittens are grown into cats, I'm pretty sure you don't need to feed them anymore. Actually, now that I think about it, CPS also works for cats as well. <laughs> But it's specifically kitten protective services. Oh, I forgot. I, I I should have read that a little closer. Um, if you use a ball of wool on the cat, uh, it's good for fifty-one minutes at a time. Oh, I think for I like, have a ball of wool for interaction. Yeah. Eh. Ball of wool costs resources. It actually doesn't use up the ball of wool, so. It would have been a slightly better better idea, but then again, just interacting with the cat twice the same time you feed it's like real easy to remember. Hi, hmm. person who's definitely been here the entire time. Oh yeah, definitely didn't Hi. load in afterwards. Oh yeah, look at that. This is Ava. She's the new assistant for Dr. Odenstein, who we just helped turn Ernest back into a human. And her bed is terribly uncomfortable, so she says that if we can get her two undead chickens so she can fluff up her pillows, then she'll give us something useful in return. Something to help us on our adventures. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah, there's a, there's a very clear, easy way to get to Port Phasmatis. <laughs> Though, uh, not as easy as if we'd done Ghosts Ahoy. Because the item you get from that just teleports you straight to the Ectofuntus. I love this person next to us, Graham. Mm -hmm. That just has the, the classic runescape melee oh, gear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is, uh... Except you can tell they're an Iron Man because they're wearing an amulet of accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, you know what? Props to them for getting all of that as an Iron Man. Uh, what's the ring thing? Uh, ALQ. ALQ, thank you. I need, to, I need to remember that I can look at the bottom right for that, too. Yeah. You can also, if it's the last place you went, you can also right-click and choose that when you click on it. Mm. Connor and I both went to, uh, I forget what the name of that is. Oh. <laughs> I started running back because I thought I was doing something wrong. Hey, hey game. Why did why did I just stop moving, huh? <laughs> oh, I am a simple ghost with simple means. <laughs> oh. You you can hear the country accent. Love it. Oh, is it feeding time? No, I I just wanted to pet the kitty. Oh, that's fair. You know the really cool thing though about all the stuff they've been previewing, like sailing and Barlamore. Mm. Uh, odds are we will actually be like more than high enough level to actually do those when the time comes. Especially since a lot of Varlamore seems built for mid-level players. 
What a terrifying thought. Yes. Not all of it, though. Uh, they're trying to outdo the fight pits for difficulty. Or not the fight pits, the, um, the fight cave. Why? Well, I guess they've technically already done that, because there's actually a harder version of the fight caves already hey, in Alex, the game. How, how did... My head's a keeps disconnecting. Alex. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, um, I'm sorry, my headset keeps, like, turning itself off for some reason. What happened? Uh, Alex, I have been instructed to tell you I love you. <laughs> I, I love you, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a question, and now I can't remember it. <laughs> I think it was something about the, uh... Oh. I think it was something about the, um, fight caves. Probably was. I'm also very disappointed that the crone made amulet is not actually called a human-speak amulet. It'd be so funny. I, I, Recipe I would for like... disaster establishes <laughs> that's a thing that exists. <laughs> let me... Uh, let me mention, though, Graham, I do love the fact that, uh, can't talk to cats without a cat speak amulet. Can't talk to monkeys. Like, obviously, animals don't speak English. There's no penguins speak amulet. No. No, the penguins, the penguins just speak English. Canonically speak English. Yeah. And also probably Russian, but we'll get there when and, we get there. I mean, ab some of them, I'm pretty sure, speak Russian-accented English, so yes. Also, Connor, if you have not watched the most recent Cape Quest video, you need to, just for the joke around the 19-minute mark. I, I shall. I I now know what the Russian dub of hell sounds like. <laughs> Did he have to phrase it as an unnatural desire for chickens? I too feel an unnatural desire for chickens. Did you have to wow, lean into the microphone I really like being stroked. <laughs> Can't stand either of you. <sighs> I guess we just don't have to handle it anymore. No, I don't think it uses the one that, uh... I don't think it uses the one that we have equipped. I'm sorry, this cutscene is hilarious. I really like the grocery store own brand Benny Hill theme that's playing right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why is... <laughs> that is such a weird... That is such a weird set they have this NPC in. <laughs> <laughs> like it's what Darok helm and axe a random cape rune plate body rune plate skirt and rune boots like what <laughs> <laughs> you can apparently also high elk the undead chicken a fate worse than death the law of equivalent exchange <laughs> 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 can you imagine just how much it would ruin the narrative stakes. What? It's it's the Nina episodes of FMA, but it's a chicken instead of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. You'll excuse me. I'm I'm going to go fairy ring to Mudskipper Point. Oh yeah, that's like way better than what I was about oh, to do. Wait, I I didn't talk to Malcolm. Uh, I missed that part of the uh, instructions. Ah. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, talking to people multiple times in this quest. Yeah, oh well. I was, I was also, uh, I was also distracted making the joke that will send me to hell, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. We take the undead chickens back to Ava, who then asks us to run out and get her a magnet and some undead twigs so that she can make the thing that she promised us. We'll also need to help her translate some research notes, which... You think she'd be able to do herself since she's the one with the science degree, presumably. 
Yeah. When when do we do Taibowani Trio? Taibowani Trio is a depressing length of time away. Uh, it is <coughs> what maybe ten, twelve quests. So what I'm hearing is uh, it's after Zogre Flesh Eaters. By the time we get to Taibowani Trio. <laughs> Uh, a rune, a poisoned rune spear won't even be that good for me. No, a poisoned rune spear will still be very good for you because where else are you getting a rune weapon? That's fair. At least I'll have Ava's attractor for that. Yeah. No, and I really do recommend going to get the uh, the bone crossbow and some bone bolts. I it despise... is a tremendous help. I despise the fact that I can't just walk out the front door here. Right. <laughs> the witch but yeah and then i was gonna say after shilo village we'll do a couple of the desert quests we we'll do spirits of the elid ichthorin's little helper and then we do rat catchers and darkness of hallow vale which i am super looking forward to <laughs> uh and then we just have like a bunch of random quests and then zogar flesh eaters and then taibowani <laughs> trio and after taibowani trio Pardon me. After Taiwani Trio, we do the tourist trap finally. Yeah. So we'll be able to make darts. Finally. <laughs> okay. Can we can we talk for a second though, Graham, about how White Wolf Mountain is the worst place in the world to bring this kitten? Yes. It absolutely <laughs> is. Like I hmm? cannot think of a more <laughs> diametrically <laughs> Oh no. Why are there so many? Why are there so many octopi emotes? Squid emotes, sorry, my mistake. Say, you racist jerk. Hey, now. <laughs> Not all cephalopods are the same. Oh, do, they, do they just all look the same to you, Graham? Is that what it is? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, like, let's be real here. Does a squid... Uh, do do squids and nautilus not a lie look that different? Like, yeah, one has a shell, but like, come on now, cancel crap. <laughs> no, crap. no. Hold on, there's a very specific fun fact you made me want to see. Graham, it's not letting me send and ask for another fun fact within thirty seconds. Is it really that? Like, I didn't think the timer was that long. No, it's just because I just said it, and it's an identical message. Like, okay, that that's a good one. That's a good one, but... Yeah, even if it's patently false, because we've <laughs> we've killed so many more imps than that. I mean, I can just quote the one I wanted, so I guess I will, but it was, this is your daily reminder that bungee gum has the properties of both rubber and gum. Yes, a very important fact. Mm -hmm. Extremely important. Connor sent that in my stream lagged. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, stream crashes. <laughs> we bring the items to Ava and she rewards us with a backpack that will gather up our fallen ranged ammo and bring it back to us so we don't have to go pick it up ourselves. Honestly, that's a pretty great reward. And with the experience as well, this is quest complete. And that brings us to the end for today and also for the year. It's Crazy to think how far we've come in the time that we've been doing this, and we do still have quite a bit to go still. I want to thank you all for joining us on the journey so far, and I'll catch you in 2024. Have a happy new year.